you know, it was, it's one of those things where I, I felt I needed to make sure that the UCAP always had access to the information they needed to help them understand the dynamics and the complexity of the whole project. And that sometimes took years because it took me a long time. And I had the technical background to kind of understand. I can imagine people that, that's why I have a lot of high respect for the people in UCAP. They're self-taught. They might have had some high school, maybe a little college education, but to understand science or engineering that gets into organic chemistry and thermal dynamics. And I mean, all those different things, the words, just hearing the word kind of scares you. Uh, hydrology, geology, you know, how do you make some sense of it? And so it's hard to, to get that information, extract what's important, and put it in a version that's understandable for the layperson. And that's kind of where my role, I felt, was always, if, like Yolanda and I always talked a lot, uh, she was always welcome to the, uh, when we had these meetings, that finally we were with EP and ADQ, and then it was the airport authority, and then the other parties that were involved. We started inviting Yolanda to come, and so she could understand some of the discussion. And it was all related to technical stuff, you know, engineering and hydrology. And I can see where it's overwhelming. Uh, I mean, but you have to hear it repeatedly as slowly you start to understand more and more. And then someone else can explain it in a different way. Now it starts to make more sense. So I think that's where it's helped Yolanda a lot to kind of get some grasp of all the information that gets dumped out at the UCAB members in, in, in a 15-minute report. And so they're they're people like me, we, we deal with it every day. You just kind of blurt it out. But it doesn't make any sense if you don't put it in a way that people can understand. So for her, I think it's been very helpful. Um, and then she can go back and share that with the rest of you UCAP members. And, and that's the intent, you know. Uh, I think UCAP's done a great job. Uh, the, the current members on the UCAP are, are much more well-informed, much more educated. They understand the issues. Uh, because they've been there long enough now, I think they they feel comfortable with uh, what they get presented at these meetings. Uh, there's some continuity with Yolanda being there, several terms as, as the co-chair for the community. So all those things help build, I think, as they go forward. And, and, and some of the pioneers that, that kind of per sporadically come back, I think that's good. Uh, Henry Vega is a classic example of that because he always reminds everyone of the, you know, it's one of those things where I, I said earlier, is we need people to challenge us sometimes, you know, and sometimes we don't like to, or we're not ready for that. But Henry's kind of that, that person that will make you think a little bit more than you think you've got it all figured out. And I, th I told Yolanda that he's, He's what UCAP needs. He's what everybody needs in those forums because he helps us to remember the things that are, matter the most, you know, our families, our health, you know, and how do we, how do we prevent from this happening again? And I think that's, that's kind of key in, in having people like, that, like Henry involved. And I know sometimes he, he's not always as active, but it's hard when you've been involved for so long and, 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 you have other commitments, and, and that's why I always have great admiration for the people that are volunteering on UCAB. I I was volunteering too. I wasn't getting paid for showing up, but the fact that yeah, I was I wasn't getting paid overtime or anything, but yeah, I was still kind of representing the city. So in a way, I wasn't I wasn't like some of the uh, consultants that have to fly in from out of state, and of course. You know, they're getting paid for coming and presenting to EPA and ADQ. But I think that's kind of one of the things as they go forward, because UCAB is, is I think, has evolved where it's gone through a lot of growing pains, a lot of controversy, a lot of ups and downs and different people taking the lead and different important issues that have kind of um, caught the interest of kind of reopened some of the memories that people are have a hard time thinking about, especially when you have had family members that are have 
passed away or they're ill. You know, that's the toughest thing. And then that topic comes up and it just brings back that memory. I think UCAP has a good way of balancing that where they're very concerned with those that have been impacted, but yet we've made a lot of progress. Let's not regress. We need to keep pushing forward. But yes, we're willing to hear your concerns and we're willing to address them as best as possible. And if it's something new, then we need to bring it up. And so I think that's where UCAP really has its its focus and it's more effective in, in managing all that as they go forward.